Okay, well, um, there has been a few changes in the game here since that save I just did. I updated a few mods and added a couple more. I'm not going to break anything yet. Everything should be safe. Um, everything should be safe to add. Let's see, one of the things I've added, I don't know if it's going to show up, actually, after all of the encoding and uploading to YouTube, there is a film gray, a film grain overlay that's present. It adds dust particles and stuff, kind of make it look like an old western movie. Um, I've added that, and I also added a new monster mod. Um, I updated the creature mod that added those two-headed ghouls and the glowing mole rats, the nuka coal rats, the nuka mole rats. I updated that mod, so there's going to be a whole bunch more stuff out there. Um, right now, though, it looks like we need to take care of some needs and then hit the bed here. We need calories, water, and 12 hours of sleep. So let's see. Do we have any beverages? Yeah. I'm going to drink all four of those water, actually. And we'll eat some food here. I guess maybe eat these pork and beans. We'll eat that can, but can of pork and beans and then eat another one after that. And then we'll fall asleep. Let's see, plenty of calories, plenty of hydration, plenty of protein. No longer have hunger sickness, wonderful. Yay. Can now move. And, are we still eating? I don't know, maybe we are. I'm still going to eat this other can of pork and beans, so. Um, I don't think there was anything else in here that we needed before we head off. I did try to fix this radio station. Um, but I don't think it's going to work yet. I think it conflicts with one of these other mods, and until I figure that out, we unfortunately won't have DJ Scratch and Sniff here to play tunes for us. But, you know what? Should we try Junket again? I don't know if I should reserve him, keep him in holding for a bit. I think we will wait. Um, yeah, I don't even want to listen to the Enclave guys yet, so let's get about 12 hours of sleep here. Wake up around 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, right here. Hopefully just in time for sunrise. And then we're going to head out and check out the airport over there. See what it has to offer, if we can get around the rad scorpions, that is. Oh, it should be a fun day. Let's see. Now we need nutrients. No longer have sleep deprivation sickness. That's wonderful, too. And... Let's see barrel cactus fruit. That has plenty of nutrients. Well, take it easy, DJ Scratch and Sniff. I hope we get your station figured out. Uh, let's go out this door this time. See what's on this side of the fort. You know, maybe we could build a, an outpost out here. Yeah, it is still dark outside. That's fine. We'll move under cover of darkness. I'm sure you guys are probably having a little bit of trouble seeing here. It'll come in. It'll fade in slowly. You know what? Let's get our night vision scope out. Our varmint rifle. If I can find it. Look at that scorpion glowing down there. Well, which one is my damn varmint rifle? There we go. Yep, that scorpion's glowing. I can see more down there. Look at all of them. Jeez, Louise. Let's see, we'll pick our way along the edge over here. And uh, see what we can bump into. Or actually what we hopefully don't bump into. Um, just scout ahead. Nothing there. I think one of my biggest concerns is going to be running into, say, like a super mutant ambush. A huge group of super mutants or something. Man, look at those bad mama jamas out there. A couple of them. And they light up the runway. I don't see anything moving up there. I just have a bad feeling about this place. Five thirty. Sun will be coming up soon. And unfortunately that'll make us a bit more visible as well. I think there's something crashed over there. 
For a second I thought it might have been a Verbird, but it looks like just an old time airplane. Which way is the sun coming up from? Right in front of us. I don't have my sunglasses on, do I? No. What do we got down here? I think that's caved in. I don't think there's actually anything down there. Um, those buildings look like they have lights coming on inside of them. Could be the sun reflecting through. Okay, yeah, there's nothing down here. I was kind of hoping that there would be something. Unless there's like a sewer hatch. Or maybe no. Who knows, maybe in the future. So let's see. Nothing. I am really surprised at this place. Nothing here. Is there nothing at all? Just a black door there? Huh. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to reach this thing with in the real game. Maybe there's like an invisible fence that would otherwise stop you from coming to this building. Let's not get careless though. Even though there's no doors, I still have a feeling we could bump into something. One of those rad scorpions, perhaps? Is there a hole anywhere in this fence? I don't think so. I'm gonna check my map here in a moment. I wanna see where we're at on it. Hell, it's possible we're even way out of bounds. Let's see. What do you say, Pit Boy? Way down here, jeez. Yeah, we are gonna continue heading this direction though. Try to loop, I guess make it to the river and loop down to this road. See what we can find at the end over here. We can't just head straight north through there. I'll run into searchlight. Radiated hellhole. Is that the river right there? It's closer than I thought it was. Let's get down there and take a closer look. Damn, that was a long fall. Maybe we can go for a swim down there? Wonder how badly radiated that water is. Hey, there's a road and stuff. Let's see. Something shiny down there. It may just be the rock that's shiny. In fact, I think that's all it is. What do we got down there, though? Some type of town? Some type of little seaside town down there. Huh. What is that, a pond? No way. That was a Wanamingo. Where's my sniper rifle at? Are they coming up after me? It was a Wanamingo and like two or three geckos. There they are. Wanamingo, huh? It's blue. Are they not murderous? So let's see, we got Wanamingos down there being chased by golden geckos. Wanamingo and Golden Gecko ring around the rosies. They're fighting. The race is on, I guess. Um. It's pretty interesting. Who will win in the Royal Rumble? I don't know, and I'm not going to stick around to find out. We've got a mission to do today. I'm going to have to start looking for water. We're already down to 5%. Perhaps I can make it down to the river. Make it down to that little town there and find some drinkable water. Oh boy. Time to roll the dice. Fortune is... Fortune is five. Doom is five. And that is combat music. What did we get jumped by? thought it was combat music, it's got me on edge. 
Well, apparently the dice aren't going to curse us today. Let's just be on our way. For whatever it is finds us. Yeehaw. Now this is how you traverse the wasteland. Don't even worry, just run. Actually do worry, I don't want to jump right off a cliff. <sighs> Anything on this hillside? I think we might have a harvestable plant down here. I'm still curious what that area is. Those animals probably over there for something. It looked like a flat landing area, maybe a vertebrate landing pad. Banana yucca fruit. Yeah. Oh, goodness. A full grown fire gecko and another one. Let's just. I was gonna say let's just back down, but. It knows we're here, so we're going to shoot its head. Blam. Shrugs that shot off. Takes another one to take down. So how many are we going to get hit by? we got another one incoming. We'll go for torso shots. Three of them. Oh, and there's one right below it. Great. That's right, that gun. Time to come out and do your dirty work. I don't know if they can breathe fire. Yes, they can breathe fire on me from there. And I am lit up, and I'm sliding down, I think. Take him down. There we go. Silly animals, you should learn to climb. Yeah. Line them up. Well, there's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, hopefully. Let's see, empty, empty, empty. Well, darn. I might have to bump my survival skill up, apparently. And empty. Oh well, at least we got some banana yucca plants around here. Still no water though, and we need a drink. Dehydration level just hit bottom. So let's see. All we have, unfortunately, is one dirty water. Five rads. I really hope this town has something. I don't want to be stuck out here and die of dehydration. Or radiation poisoning. Drinking contaminated crap all day long. How many rads do we have? Only 2%. I did switch that setting over there as well. Instead of having huge numbers that don't mean anything, we'll at least have percentages. I mean, hell, I don't know what 300 uh, water means, or what 400 food is. Or what 750 sleep means. I do know what 5% means, though. Anybody in this town? I do not like that it's so quiet here. Looks like that door might still... Uh... What is this? Cottonwood Overlook. Is it really an overlook? Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to save it here, and then we're going to go into these buildings. Start cleaning them room by room, looking for any sunset sarsaparilla or dirty water we can find. Door to abandoned summer home. Okay, so who's in here? Looks like just a bunch of mannequins. And a TV mannequin? A TV-headed mannequin? Um, let's see. Gamora bed. A slick outfit for pimping. And True Police Stories magazine. Is there any water, though? If you drink out of the toilet, it has seven rads. It's a fancy little place if it's only cleaned up a little bit. Bedtime stories. And an oven. Let's open it. Is there any food? No, but there's a pilot light. So let's see. Wine. I don't need it. Two empty whiskey bottles. I thought I just heard something. Beauty Parade. Another magazine. Um, ooh, an eight ball. I'll take that. I haven't been paying too much attention to the pool tables that we've walked by, unfortunately. I fool. And what are you doing back here? 
There's a dead robot, but unfortunately... Ooh, a 13 ball, too. I want to take that. 8s and 13s. Let's see. And a car. Wow, there's everything in here that we need except water. Um, what are we going to drop? We have, we're up to two 8 balls. That's 2 pounds. I kind of want to drop... Drop the pistol, but I'll we'll keep it. Look at all these stim packs. 20 stim packs. It's insane. I'm going to drop the vodka, the whiskey, and one of the absinthe. There we go. Now we got four pounds to work with. I don't think I need my gun out. And I guess that's the only thing in here. Left my love in the Sierra Madre. Yeah, we'll check the other houses here. Maybe there's something else around. I don't think I have to worry about anything. But I'm not going to be uh, be careless here. Let's go to this abandoned house. And this one's empty too. More empty sunset sarsaparilla bottles. And a toy box with another car. We're going to have so many cars it's going to be great. An empty footlocker. And an easily locked one. Nothing there. There we are. Seven whole bottle caps. Now, it wasn't much of a treasure. Empty stove. And a locker that is way out of my skill range. I think that's it in here. No books or anything on the floor? Nope. We do have more stuff that way. Camper. There's a sign there. Let's go look at that. A fork in the dumpster. I don't need a fork. Let's see, what do we got? Scenic Overlook is that way at that camper. Yeah, we'll hit the camper and then check out the other trailers on our way back through, I guess. Let's see, nothing there. A campfire. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to cook. The damn geckos didn't give us their uh, delicious, tasty meat. And a nice little camper that we could live in. If only it had a bed or something. Well, there's the water. There's more camps down there. My depth... Till the depth stuff is screwing up. What do we got in the water down there? A whole bunch of body parts, I think. All those houses over there look like their doors are ripped off. There might not be a way into them. We'll check if I can get down there. I have a feeling I'm going to start running into some stuff at some point that's still a work in progress from some of these mods. Again, I'm not sure exactly what is um, modded in here and what's part of the game. A door to abandoned summer home. Oh boy. Nobody in here either. Let's see, what do we got? Yeast and a fission battery. Um, I don't see those very often, so I will take it. Some banana yucca fruits. Give me something to drink and a, dis a distillery. Much to your surprise, the distillery appears to be in working order. You look closer and see that someone has inscribed instructions on how to prepare moonshine with yucca fruit, fission batteries, and yeast. Uh, to make moonshine, you need two banana yucca fruit, a fission battery, and one bag of yeast. Um... There, I picked up a bag of yeast. I should be able to make one moonshine now. Yeah, we successfully brewed a moonshine. And I want to check that out here. Moonshine. Holy crap, it weighs four pounds. Alcohol, it's 5.9%, 10% water. It's not very appealing. There it is, there's our jug of moonshine. I'm not going to take it with us, so. Uh, too heavy. We might come back for it at some point candle, more broken bottles and stuff, and damn it. I might actually have to take that moonshine and get drunk on it. That way we don't die of dehydration. Interstate 15 and Highway 95 both lead into the city of New Vegas from the south. We're about as far away from New Vegas as we can get right now. few more houses over here. I think this one. I just know it, one of these is going to have somebody inside it waiting for us. Dean Domino. Ooh, a fridge. 
Let's see, gecko, steak, and iguana bits in there. Let's drop some stuff off, maybe. Do I need to? Carton of cigarettes. We'll put the carton of cigarettes in there. That's two pounds that we free up. Um, I'm gonna keep the cooked meat. Food, food. Do I have any just raw meat? Gecko steak. If we put raw meat in a fridge, it'll stay good for quite some time. I don't know if I'll ever have to come back this way, but... Um, I guess that's it. I don't need to put anything in there. Toilet and water and nothing else. And some beer. Get out of here. I'm thirsty, and y'all are teasing me with alcohol. It would um, be somewhat filling. But I don't want to take the penalty from being drunk. Wow, this is a fancy one. Somebody might have lived here even recently. Let's see. Bottle cap. Take all these bottle caps. Empty ammo box. Ooh. What do we got here? Recoil compensator. That'll come in handy. I wonder what gun we'll put that on. Whole bunch of beer there. Almost a six pack. Almost. A queen sized bed. Man, that looks comfortable. A riot shotgun. Five pounds and two sticks of dynamite. If I wasn't already pushed to the limit and almost overweight, I'd take them. Magazine La Fantoma. That's it. I like this place. This would this would be a nice little place to set up, honestly. Some type of um, Wasteland Defense or RTS mod. Have this place be a base of operations. Um, let's see. I think this that's all of the buildings. I think I went in all of them now. I'm going to scout over this way. While trying to get stuck in the rocks. I want to see if we can go to this town that's down around the edge. Keep our gun out. Don't trust this area. It's too quiet. Keep out. Kaiser's Legion. So this is where they're based out of? Or at least this is one of their bases? Let's see, I don't see any guards down there, though. There's nobody guarding anything. Are they all dead? Are they even s still around? Yeah, they are. Discovered Cottonwood Cove. Uh, hurrah! Hurrah, indeed. Um, let's see. I hear gunshots somewhere. Recruit Legionary. Veteran Legionary. A Legion Minotaur? Where the hell did they get those from? Legion captives, captives, legendaries, the looters. They've got a little bit of everything there. More looters, Brahmins. Well, there is more than enough people. How big is that thing? Holy shit. What is that? You've got to be joking me. A Legion Minotaur. How the hell did they breed that creature? Well, I don't think I'm going to go down there towards that camp. They are well defended. There's way more of them than there is me. That might be something to do with, like, every single companion that I've got and all of those NCS reinforcements. That, yeah, we might do something there later on. But for now, that's a suicide mission. And we're going to go back exploring, so let's see. Um, where's our map at? This is where we are, all the way over here. We have Cottonwood Overlook, Cottonwood Cove, neutral. <clears throat> if we hadn't been killed defending those merchants and had actually been able to fight off Kaiser's Legion, uh, we would have been able, we would have been vilified by them, actually. And they probably already would be chasing me. So let's see. Am I being hunted? I really hate that tambourine sound. Um, we'll just continue up this road, run, run up here, and see what there is. I really, th I think that's searchlight, though. We'll skirt around the edge of that. It's 8:55. Oh man, 
My hydration is negative 4% and it just increased and I'm starting to walk now. This is bad. Um, I need something to drink. Anything. What do we got? Just absinthe? I don't want to be pissed drunk. It only has 8 ounces of water. Do we have any food that has water in it? Banana yucca fruit's got 2 ounces of water. Blammo mac and cheese doesn't... It's got 5 ounces. Brock flour, no. Um, I just want something that's got moisture in it for now. It's got a lot of carbohydrates. Two ounces of water in the honey mesquite pods. Instamash, no. Peppers, no. Maize, only... I think the only thing I've seen is two ounces of water. That's the most. Okay. Banana yucca fruit. Eat that one. Hunger levels decreased. No longer suffering from hunger sickness. Let's eat another one. Maybe this will just last us for a little bit. Well, aren't you on the top of the world, you little chipper chipmunk? Uh, we're getting a little bit of boost, then, from eating this food. Uh, dehydration levels decreased it's to 0%. So let's see, what else do we have? 1% water, or 1 ounce of water in the gecko steak. Cram. It's got a lot of other stuff I don't need. Um, here, Blamo mac and cheese. That's 5 ounces of water, and it's a full meal. See, I will eat that. There we go. Watch that hydration level rise. Can it at least make it to 10%? Nevada agave fruit. Wonderful. I think those have some water too. And we got two of them. Now see, this is how I want my survival mod to be all the time. Well, not all the time. I, I'd hate to have to be scrounging for water and food every, every minute that I'm playing, but you get the idea. What is that? Am I in ghoul country? A feral ghoul trooper there. Oh, please don't tell me I've wandered into the middle of packs of ghouls. Might just be over there. There's another Nevada gave plant. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled for anything we can harvest. Just keeps skirting along the edge here. 